this is another video in my garden series. Um, if you are interested in looking around at these bugs, trying to see if I need to apply bug spray. If you'd like to see the beginning process of my garden adventure, the, just this year, you could just check out all my gardening videos, even from last year in 2020. But this year I have uploaded videos with me cleaning out my pots, getting ready for the year, and then also potting these plants. So today is going to be a little garden tour so that you can actually see the plants. Like, you didn't get to see them up close, you know, like, get that 4D video feel. <laughs> um, also, some of my plants I didn't show that I potted and or or I potted them in the rain. And so then it was just like me trying to do it really quickly and not wanting to set up the camera. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and walk through and like show you around my little garden. Also, <clears throat> I have done this garden tour video a little bit late. I've had such a hectic schedule and it is like mid, mid to late April and like these plants have been in the ground for a while and that's great they're getting established and they look really nice but also I think it would be fun to like see the documentation process like a little bit sooner but at least you sort of got to see what they looked like when they were really really small plants in my other garden video and so now they're like pretty established which is great hopefully I can get some you know, harvest from some of my plants and also just like have a nice garden experience this year. So, I hope you enjoy my garden. <laughs> okay, so the first plants I'm gonna show you, they're all kind of bunched together here because uh, like I haven't moved them since the last freeze that we had, which was really like early April, kind of like end of March. So, um, these are some iceberg lettuces that I bought. So if so in terms of like watching my, when I potted these plants, I purchased this little salad bowl um, uh, pot that had butter crunch lettuce in it. It also had a Swiss chard and it also had this like purple lettuce back here. And then I loved this lettuce so much. In general, I'm not really a lettuce person, but I loved this lettuce and the texture of it so much that I purchased like another thing that had six of them in there. So that was one, two, three, four, five. So one of them died. Like there was another one in here and it just like didn't make it. And that's okay. That's all right. But I'm loving this lettuce. I keep having it on like homemade turkey bacon clubs, homemade BLTs, like we had a salad with it. I am thoroughly enjoying having a bunch of lettuce plants and I definitely recommend having like four to six of them if you are like a family of two because I am just a family like I have just a family of two me and my husband and we're eating this lettuce pretty well in terms of like not feeling like we're killing the plant by eating it so I also have some cilantro but like where I live for some reason cilantro doesn't seem to do very well I'm probably gonna have to move it inside if I want to like really enjoy this cilantro because I can tell that it's like getting ready to flower with how tall it's getting here and just the way that the leaves are looking I've had cilantro like every year for several years and where I live is just very hot and apparently cilantro doesn't like it it also likes a lot of water so I might have to move this baby inside this is my thyme plant and if you watched my any of my earlier gardening videos I did have a thyme plant that had lasted through the years um, but I decided to just throw it away like it it was still hanging on but it was like barely hanging on and I was like you know I've had a good experience with you and maybe I can do that again with another thyme plant and not kill like the main one in the middle and then just like try and keep the one on the side like alive this one is again a new plant so it's got more little nooks and crannies and babies on there and it's like a little bit established and doing better every day so hopefully I can keep this one for a while too so I also have some Italian parsley like flat leaf parsley I think is what it's called and I haven't had parsley in a while I did it one year when I was in college and so I'm really enjoying having this parsley 
I've used it just a little bit, not very much, and some mashed potatoes and things like that, but I'm excited to use it more in my cooking experiences. And this is my sage plant. I don't think I even showed it to you last year. Maybe I did in my garden vlog of last year, 2020. But I had this plant on the side of my house in the front and I, it didn't really like the placement and it's doing a lot better in this pot. It used to be much bigger and then died back in the location that I had put it to when we first moved into this house. And now it's really enjoying the location that it's in now. So hopefully it'll get better, bigger and stay successful. So here is my strawberry plant. I've had this strawberry plant for multiple years. And, you know, me and the strawberry plant have gotten to know each other and it does not like to produce for me or my family. <laughs> like this strawberry plant usually makes one to two strawberries a year. And it does have some right now, which I'm so excited for. So, so excited to play with these strawberries. They're looking a little funky though, but I had also put some seeds on top as well in the strawberry pot and they're not sprouting either, it's strawberry seeds. So I, I don't know what's up with these strawberries. Maybe they don't like the pot. Maybe I need a different style pot for strawberries. Uh, let me know what your suggestions are or your thought processes on growing strawberries because I would like to and they're not being successful for me. I also have chive and chives must be very similar to cilantro in their requirements because it's also starting to flower. So it's got these little like nodules. Come on, whatever. I can't get it to focus. So yeah, it's got those little nodules which look like flowers to me. I don't know, the beginning is of flowerings. I also have some basil just some sweet basil right now and hopefully I can have some different types of basil. This is my oregano plant from last year. So this one did last over the winter season. It like died back and got a little woody and then it just popped right back up. So that's so super exciting and I've been using it in more of my food this year. I have some tomatoes. So I have two different types of tomatoes that I'm growing. So this first, um, plant and there's two in here um this first set with the lighter leaves is like a better boy or a big boy let me see what does it say back here it's called the better boy tomato and i am so excited i'm going to use these for canning so i do uh canning and pressure canning and i'm super excited i'll make some videos about that but i've already been making homemade rotel and homemade um pasta sauce and just diced tomatoes uh, not with tomatoes that I've grown because I haven't grown any yet but just from the store so I'm excited to get some more footage on having tomatoes and and canning them and then I also have the second set of tomato plants and there's also two vines in here as well and these have darker leaves and this one is a purple Cherokee now, I love purple Cherokee tomatoes. I have not had them in a few years. They're so good. My best, or not my best friend. So, um, a close friend of mine grew some purple Cherokee tomatoes and they were so good. I got to taste them. I already love tomatoes. So if you are a tomato lover, you appreciate the flavor of tomatoes. And you uh, might also, if you also enjoy a tomato that has like a good meaty center, like the little structure that is within a tomato that is the meat and if you like a tomato with good amounts of meat the purple cherokee is going to be something that you might enjoy i love it so i'm super excited to have found some plants and hopefully they produce so i also am growing potatoes these two big bushy go bushy guys right here one and two these are both potatoes and they are so tall, like so tall. So what I've been doing is um, I put the potatoes in really, really shallow, really, really low in these pots. And then I've been adding dirt on top of it in increments uh, based on like the weather and different uh, storms that we've been getting. 
and I'll put more dirt on top of them. And then the shoots, the green leaves from the potatoes have been like shooting up. So that is super fun and awesome to see. These are gonna be red potatoes. So their leaves look like this. And I'm just super excited to get a good haul of potatoes this year. So I also have a mint plant and this is my mint plant from last year. If you watched my garden vlog from last year, you'd be updated uh, that I had a mint plant that my sister and my mother gave me and uh, it did all right. And then in like the winter months, it died back and I also have footage of that as well. Oh, it smells so good. And I literally just like cut back the sticks. There was no green on it hardly at all. And then I just covered it over with dirt and then it came back. And I was like, so thank you, Mint. Good job. Thank you, Mint. Yes. I did buy a blueberry bush, but it's not very bushy. So I'm gonna, and I also know that they need a pear. So I'm gonna go back and get a second blueberry bush eventually. And hopefully that one will be more established. And some things that I haven't even potted yet, but I'm still gonna show you are my two pepper plants. So I have one that is serrano peppers and one that is banana peppers. And both of these desperately need to be potted, but I have not gotten there yet. And I also have some marigolds that are like deterrents of bugs that would eat the peppers. So I'll put those in the same pots as my peppers. And one more thing that is in my backyard garden is this lemon balm. Now, if you watched my garden update from 2020, I was gonna give this to a friend, never did, COVID, you know. It was not a much smaller pot, and then I was like, you know what? I'm never gonna give this to them, or I just don't have the chance to right now. So I'll just have to buy them one in the next season whenever, you know, coronavirus is not a thing, and I will just keep this one. So I kept it, it became woody, it died back, but then I planted it in this pot, and it has loved this pot, it has loved this area, um, lemon balm and mint are generally like pretty invasive in that they like to run and they like to take over. So I'm super excited to have both lemon balm and mint, which they can like run and take over the, the pots that they're in. Lemon balm is great for depression and I have depressive episodes sometimes. And so I love to make homemade lemon balm lemonade with lemons and lemon balm. And if you're interested in that, just comment down below if you would like to see that recipe. Uh, I did not create that recipe. I found it on a blog, but uh, I quite enjoy it. It is super yummy and a great way to have an uplifting lemonade. So yeah, that was my outdoor garden tour of 2021. These are like the plants that I plan on harvesting this year, things that I want to use with cooking or just like really trying to utilize for nutrition and nourishment. Um, I do have some ornamental plants and uh, if you're interested in seeing my ornamental garden, uh, then you'll just have to come back for that video. I love you. And I just want to say, let it go. Everything is going to be all right. Times seem hard sometimes. And then also sometimes it's like, how could you ever be sad? Like there's always going to be highs and lows. That's part of life. I don't want you to feel like you, uh, need to get swept up in the moment all of the time or that life is really overwhelming because it can be and I just want you to take that time for yourself to take a step back and really find joy in life in whatever way that that means for you. I love you. I hope you have a good day.